Good morning. People have asked us how we're able to sleep well in our Travato. We're going to show you today, starting right now. <laughs> So this journey to get a really comfortable bed in the Travato has been a kind of a long one for us. It's been a work in progress, let <laughs> yeah. me say that. <laughs> yeah. I remember back when we first got the Travato, we went on a trip to Charlotte. And we thought at the time the way to go was to put sleeping bags on there. Mm -hmm. So we got mummy sleeping bags. Neither one of us liked that. No, I didn't like it for sure. Yeah. I felt like I was sliding all yeah. night long. So. You couldn't get it around your neck, and I mean, it was. We're used to sleeping in beds. So then we went back to Dick's Sporting Goods, and we got square ones, which we thought would be better because the beds are square. And that that night might have been a little better, but it wasn't perfect. Mm -hmm. So then someone suggested we should get oversized ones, so we did that. And it was about that time that it was huge. Yeah, Lynn, was, yeah. Lynn said, "Screw it. We're going. We're going to make this up like a bed. That's the way we're going to sleep in it." Yeah. So, so, so we went to Bed Bath and Beyond or whatever it is. Well, I get those things confused. Yeah, but. Bed Bath and Beyond. We went to Marshalls. We went a lot of places yeah. shopping around trying to find bedding that we liked. So, but when we finally found it, we actually parked in the parking lot. Tried went inside. <laughs> got the topper which is a really we'll show you that in a moment a thick cotton topper and we got a, uh, a sheet set and a quilt that we thought was going to work but we literally went out into the parking lot and tried one and it didn't work at all yeah, and we took it back and we just walked right back in the lady said how did you even try that out that quickly and we had to say well we're parked out there in your parking lot yeah. so, so. <laughs> but this is what, what we've come up with and it's really comfortable for both of us maybe it won't be so painful for you to figure it out if you kind of see what we've done. Okay. So one of the things people ask us a lot of the times is why did you, you know, we've got to put our paddle boards up on the roof and you know, we the G would have fit our lifestyle better because we'd have some underbed storage. But a lot of people ask why we got the K instead of the G. And the main reason is we had a little 15 foot retro camper before that had a corner bed that Lynn is claustrophobic, so she can't sleep up <laughs> against the wall. So I have to sleep up against the wall. And, and I can't make it all night without having to get up to pee. So I have to crawl over her, go to the bathroom. I wake her up, but she won't get up then. So, you know, she'll, she'll stay in bed. And then I crawl back over her, and we both try to go back to sleep. And then 15 minutes later, she finally gives up and says, I got to go pee too, so she would get up. <laughs> we never were comfortable with that no, bed, we so, so and we, it hurt my back really bad. Yeah, so so I think we we decided having the two twins and sleeping like you know Lucy and Desi would be the best hold way. Hands to do. Yeah, we middle. hold hands in the middle, and that's what we do. <laughs> so so that I hope that answers that question. We love that G setup, we there, do. and it would be perfect if we thought we could both sleep side by side in there, and I wouldn't have to get up. You know, I guess I could wear diapers to bed or something, but once I wake her up, she has a hard time going back to sleep. We just never got a good night's sleep with that bed. So. And then there's the Maggie factor. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Maggie, well, we'll show you that in a moment because Maggie has to sleep with one of us. She's just, she's a little spoiled. She's a little spoiled. I guess we're going to tear the bed apart and show what the components that make up our bed are. And what some of the problems that we had with that we tried to fix. Okay. All right, here we go. So if you're familiar with the 59K, this is the um, cushion couch that comes with it. And we found that if you just put the sheet on top of this, that it's, it's got a lot of texture to it. And we felt, we felt like you could feel that texture. So the first thing that we did is we got, I got a mattress, a really heavy mattress cover. So it would cut out on the knobbiness not sure that I, is that a technical term? yeah i mean you can listen it's a pretty scratchy surface yeah. so. so not sure that i still need this but we still use it right now and i'll kind of get into the reason why we don't need it is that we put this extra topper on here 
But the reason why we did this is on, on Owen's side, which is the passenger side, the longer side, is the underneath storage. So what, what the problem ended up being is the underneath storage has this hinge and he could actually feel it at night, this space that doesn't have the frolies, he could actually feel that at night when he was sleeping. So it kind of went down into a little crevice there. Yeah. So that's the reason why we put the big topper on it. Don't really need to have the mattress cover with the topper because the only reason I did that was to, to cover up the cushion. Right. And then we've got, you know, a fitted sheet, a and that's a twin sheet. XL sheet. Right, and you need an XL for this bed for sure. I got a regular size twin for the other side, and then, and then the comforter. So we like to watch TV at night before we go to bed. So we added these nice little husbands. Um, got my wife a husband. Got my wife a husband. <laughs> <laughs> So they act, they're they actually really, really good, and they're really, really comfortable, and it was a real good addition. And plus, they look kind of cute, too, don't they? They do look cute. Look at that. That's Walmart awesome. special. We got the bedding at Kohl's. And here's his extra pillow. We have a lot of extra pillows. We put an extra blanket down here just in case. And we've actually used that a lot here in Florida. I can't believe it, but we have. It's really cold here right it now. It is. A little chilly. But that's our bed set up. <laughs> so, so when we first laid down on the beds in the cave, we, we felt like we could configure them in a way that we could be comfortable. Right. And and we have. We we we've, we've spent many many weeks traveling in our 59k. So if you're on the fence about whether you think you're going to be comfortable in one, uh, you know, unless both of you are over six feet tall, I think people should be able to make it pretty comfortable. Yeah. Uh, we, we, and there's there's a lot of different ways you can do it. I mean, this yeah. is just the way that we did it. Yeah. And like he, he was saying earlier, too, I mean, this does make a king-size bed. So we didn't want to have to make our bed and unmake it every day. So that's the reason why we decided on the two twins. And I didn't want to have to flip feet overhead to go to the bathroom yeah, back there, too, true. to go yeah, pee we, at 3 o'clock every morning. Yeah, so. we couldn't figure that out either. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, so but anyway, we, we love the bed in here, and we sleep really, really comfortably. Uh, this this bed on the, the driver's side is where Lynn sleeps because she's a little shorter than I am, and I sleep over here on the bigger one, and I have plenty of room. Unfortunately for Lynn, it seems to be that Maggie sleeps in the corner up against the, uh, the sink, and she feels comfortable there, so she doesn't have quite as much leg room, but... They, neither one of them have any trouble sleeping. No, we don't. It's, it's really comfortable. And, you know, this, it's been important for us to have a comfortable place to sleep. Because if you're in, staying in it as long as we do for three months, it's, you know, it's pretty important to get a good night's sleep. It is. So. It is. We think you can, though. So maybe I should have read this to begin with, but the lighthouse lady asked us, what type of bedding do you use on your twin beds? Do twin sheets fit? They look really nice. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> and I hope we covered all the questions that you guys have asked about how we stay comfortable and what, what makes the bed look so nice. It, it's not because of me. Uh, definitely we would have sleeping bags if it were up to me because she's the decorator in the family. But if you have other questions about the things that we've done to the Travado that you see and you, you don't quite know what we're doing with it, let us know and we'll be glad to cover that in an upcoming Wednesday episode. Right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. we're going to. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you click on the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon and all those things that the YouTubers always say. And Lynn and I really appreciate you guys being with us on our journey. We hope our paths cross somewhere down here in Florida. And we hope Florida warms up, up? pretty soon. <laughs> it's just so crazy cold. having to use the Truma heat every single night. But that's another video. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Maggie likes the husband, too. Looks really comfortable over there, Maggie. She does. She's got her hand up on that little arm. You're so cute.